السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته a muslim man passed away leaving behind his wife and a two month old daughter his unmarried younger brother married the widow to take care for the child however a year later the brother engaged in an extramarital affair so he sent back his wife to her parents and they didn't show much interest to solve this but the wife never wanted divorce but he ended up divorcing his wife without paying meher till now he said that if she needs the meher then she has to apply through the court a week after the divorce he married the woman with whom he had the affair So the question is Sheikh since except his elder sister all of his siblings accepted that as a form of protest his elder sister refused to acknowledge the marriage and cut off kinship with her new sister in law forever are the elder sister's actions justified and whether the marriage is valid jazakallah wa jazakum this is none of anyone's business this is none of anyone's business the man divorced his wife who happened to be his uh, widow the widow of his brother and then he divorced her what reasons it's not to us to judge we don't know what happens behind closed doors he divorced her he didn't pay her, her the the mahar he is sinful committing a major sin and allah azza wa jalla would punish him in his grave and on the day of judgment all what he has to do is wait and then he will find what he had committed in his grave and of course he will find that much earlier when allah takes away the blessing from his business maybe grant him some illnesses that are incurable because of his zulm do you think that allah created you on earth to transgress and wrong people without being held accountable freebies no wait it will come Now as him marrying this woman the second woman no one has the right to accuse them of having a relationship unless they bring four male muslim witnesses testifying by Allah that they had seen the male organ in the female organ a'udhu billah No, how would anybody do this, Sheikh? Well, this is what's mentioned in the Quran and in the authentic Sunnah. Failing to provide such four male witnesses means that you're slandering this Muslim, which is punishable in Islam by flogging eighty lashes for whoever dare and say such a statement. Reputation of a Muslim is protected. You can't go around and say oh he committed zina he had a relationship he had an affair because this is slandering now what the sister does with her brother whether or not acknowledging his wife or not this is up to her this has no ruling in islam in saying that oh you did this or you did that this is normal behavior that people are held accountable for you don't want to see your friends anymore up to you you don't want to communicate with your sister in law up to you there's nothing wrong in that as a muslim if you see them face to face you have to exchange salam this is the minimal requirement assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam that's it if you don't see them for 10 years you don't have to pick up the phone and give them a call they're not your kinship total strangers so i hope this answers your question